Hey, what's happening, everybody? YouTube, Reddit. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, a particular type of fern. This is um, Microsorum, or you may say it called Bulbitis. Now, remember, I'm I'm explaining to beginners who start off at big chain stores before you start like ordering online, or if you happen to have some kind of a aquatic farm near you, a nursery that where they sell plants underwater. Um, those are great, but some people only have access to the big chain stores like PetSmart and Petsco, and you get a lot of your plants like this. Now, I've explained different types of ferns before. This one in particular is a little bit different, and I want to show you a couple things. Um, when you get these, because these are classified as an easy plant, and it's not tr it's not as true as you may think. Um, these just kind of, well, these just slipped out, but there's a bunch of agar in there. Um, anyway, so this particular type, the Bulbitis microsorum, if when you get this, you think, oh, geez, I have one plant, and you'll plant it like this, and then. Over a couple months, you'll start to notice the leaves turning uh, black, and they just start dying. I mean, they'll start to reproduce. They reproduce off the ends, like this one right here has a couple babies, and they start doing that when they are in fear or jeopardy that they're going to die. They start making multiple babies, so this is like premature because, you know, it hasn't been submerged in water, and it assumes it needs to start duplicating, but you never want to plant them like this. Let me show you. If you look very closely what this is, and they're all going to be packaged like this if you get them out of the tubes, it is so hard to see. Now, I've shown before where they have roots wrapped around each other, but this one actually has a black string. And uh, <clears throat> let me see if I can show you that I, I, I snagged it. All right. See, see now, look here, that was the string, and then I just start unraveling it, and then I cut it again. It's deceiving. You can't leave this on here. What happens is, is if you plant this with all of these different um, rhizomes connected, it starts to suffocate the plant, and over months it'll die. You, you actually need to take this string off because it constricts everything. See, I'm, I'm just pulling lots of string off of here. Um, it's not its not actually one fern. It's a bunch of babies that have been tied together, with one, usually with like one or two leaves on it. So, here we go. Now it's coming apart. I got this. Now look at this. This is just a random leaf that fell off. You don't want to toss these. Um, yes, it's going to die, but if you put it in your tank and just let it float around, you'll notice after a week or two it'll start making the babies, and the babies will start to grow the roots along uh, the leaf here. And then when you see the roots, you'll be able to just pluck it off, and you have a baby fern, and you can uh, attach that to a piece of wood. Because uh, remember, they are. This one actually has actually has a uh, tiny, tiny rhizome on it. So that one I can plant. Um, let's take a look here. Look at how many different there are. See, these are these are shoved together and tied with this tiny string that you can't see. So this is one. This this is one rhizome. This, so this is one plant. This is one plant also. Now these were tied together with strings. You got to separate them, or or uh, you suffer losing them, and they could all die as a bunch. See, here's one. This one doesn't even have, yeah, here we go. Yeah, it does. So I can I can plant this one. Um, I think this one's two. There's still some string on here. Oh, yeah, look. Here's a pile. Here's the pile of string that I was talking about. It all got stuck to this one. Look at that. That kills it. If you've ever had people tell you, uh, Java ferns, microsomes, bulbitis, or like the bulletproof plants. But if you don't take this off and separate them, it will slowly die over months. And you'll wonder, why am I killing one of the easiest plants? And it's because of this black string that's impossible to see. So, right here. 
you can see there's the rhizome with all the roots so this is one see like I said it's a baby with one leaf that's one plant it's gonna grow and make more leaves now before we do the next step I rinse it off in dechlorinated water that's what's here and then we're gonna freak this plant out it's already in shock he's like oh god you pulled me out of my home what do I do well sorry sir but I'm ditching your roots they're gonna grow new ones anyway and I was like, oh, Jesus, you just cut off my legs. What? What is this? Chill, bro. You're going to grow a new aquatic plant roots. It'll be all good. Just calm down. Here, have some more water. This right here is just a fertilizer. I put a little bit of ni uh, nitrogen and potassium in it. Uh, so they're in super shock right now. You know, I just took them out of their house. I'm going to put them in a new place. And some may choose not to make it. They're, they don't like the transfer. So that's why you want to uh, separate all of these because if they're tied together and one decides to start dying, it spreads to the others. So make sure you find all the rhizomes and they're in shock right now. So I'll spray a little bit of this, get the leaves wet too, because this is a this is a long process. Um, but anyway, you get the long leafy uh, Asian water ferns or the bulbitis or the microsorum that are long and skinny like this double check them if they come in these tubes they're going to have strings on them now if you order them from a nursery they're gonna come in a little plastic cup and they've been grown underwater they also already have beneficial bacteria on them and all of that so um, you know check this was sold as one plant look I got two bundles and they're all tied together there's one two three three on this end and remember this was all sold to me as one plant and it is not and the people who work there won't tell you this and you need to remember to do that look at this I can see the string it they it's so camouflaged you think it's a bundle of roots and it's not here we go look at all this black thread I'm I'm unraveling off of here that's going to slowly kill your plant. Now this type of plant, I do use a special glue to attach it to some wood, uh, which I already have. I started a, let me see if I can angle this right. All right, there we go. That's a driftwood and that's a uh, uh, bulbitis and Asian fern that I've been attaching uh, with special aquatic um, glue um, I mean I think it looks awesome right now but I want to add a few more and that's why I got one um, but yeah it's gonna overgrow and I'm gonna end up having to you know snip off a bunch and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it then but anyway yeah so you attach it to wood don't ever bury the rhizomes um, and substrate they need to be attached to rock or wood and the reason for this is that if the rhizomes are below soil they will get root rot and it'll spread and it'll not only infect your uh, soil with you know infected root rot that'll start to spread it, it'll kill the whole plant so you know you have to sep you have to separate them look it's just I mean it's cool I got all these plants but you think you're getting one long rhizome with like a bunch of leaves on it and it that is not the case and in order to make make sure they survive you gotta separate them otherwise you're gonna watch them slowly die over months and it's not gonna make sense to you if you check your water parameters you'll be like it's been the same for months why are these dying this easy bulletproof plant because you didn't remove the string you didn't separate the rhizomes and so when you attach them glue this is the rhizome with the leaves. Cut off all these roots. It'll grow new ones, and you can glue the, the rhizome, um, and then just press it up against the driftwood. I like. I think they look better on driftwood, but that's up to you if you want to put it on rock. But anyway, that, that's all I have to say. You know, I, I'm just trying to educate people who who start off, and everyone starts off, or the majority start off at the big chain store. It's PetSmart, it's Petco. You know, I do order some plants online, but it's so cold up here, I can't get them in the winter. 
So, and I love aquatic plants, so I keep buying them. But this is what I've learned, and I hope that you know, if you find this video, it helps you and you understand what you need to do with them in order to make sure that these plants that can thrive in virtually any water conditions, it's not true. And not if they're bundled together and uh, suffocating. That's what happens is they essentially suffocate. And the rhizomes are completely tied with that string so the nutrients from the water column can't get in there. All right. Uh, well, again, my name is Dustin. If you have any further questions, feel free to um, comment below. I appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you.